Okay, I want to show you what I call my ridiculous deck, or my ridiculous deck. Um, I played tested it a couple of times. It uh, takes about three turns, and then it gets pretty dumb. So, we're going to use Tamiyo Field Researcher, and this deck does have some mythics in it, um, but we'll go through all the cards. So, this deck is built around the uh, Divine Visitation card, um, non token. That would enter the battlefield, you get a Vigilant Angel token instead. And so with this deck, I'm triggering it uh, using two cards, uh, Omnath, which puts out elementals, and uh, part the Water Veil, uh, 5 gems, you get 6 tokens. So you gain 10 mana, and then uh, you get 6 tokens, which becomes 6 4 4 creatures. It, it builds up pretty fast. To trigger those effects, um, Nissa's Renewal gives you 20 gems to match, which triggers both if they're both on the field. Power of Promise will do the same. Like I said, a lot of these are mythic. And then this guy here uh, only costs 5 mana. And if you just let your hand full up, uh, it, it'll it'll do all green and um, trigger, and then to keep it going and going and going and going, uh, this card here, when you cast a spell, support a creature, you fetch the next card, and so you'll see how it works here. Um, and I think it already makes sense. And then just to fill things in, um, I've got card draw, which also has an aftermath. And the aftermath allows you to pull stuff directly from your deck and put it on the field, which is really just to build up and protect the two creatures, um, Rashmi and uh, Omnath. And then Storm the Vault, because it's just a fun card. Also, it allows you to trigger at the beginning of your turn uh, once it's been transformed. Uh, so your turn starts, it it's already transformed. It, converts the blue gems, you get creatures, and then you play your hand. So, we will uh, use this deck uh, and see how we do. Uh, the game has been lagging since the uh, new event, the God Pharaohs, started, and I've lost a couple of events or uh, recordings already, so hopefully this will work. Like I say, it takes about three turns, so we'll see what we get. Ah, this is going to be good. We're going to save this for later. So, this might be acting a little slower, since it didn't give me any of my other trigger cards. But, still only a second turn. Not quite a trigger card, but uh, it'll at least get um, some creatures out, which will hopefully get us rolling. If we get Rashmi out, uh, an Omnath, since we already have um, Divine Visitation, it, it should start triggering. So let's let's go this way. We'll do this, and we'll just use it up and see what happens. I should explain why I'm using this Planeswalker. Um, it has three colors, and so I was able to get all the cards that I wanted in this set. 
Also the third ability here, draw six cards, increase your blue, green, and white mana bonuses by 12. Um, it says four turns, but it includes your opponent's turn. So it's really only two rounds, so you only get to do it on, you only get that bonus twice, but it's typically enough. Um, so this isn't triggering the way I'd hoped, so that you could see it. Um, let's see what happens here though. I'm already in a really good position to win, as you can see. Um, I just really wanted, uh, oh, here we go. This might give us the triggers that we need. Let's see if I can get 11 this turn. I don't see any, I don't see a cascade, so I'm just going to go with the white up here. So, what are we, fifth turn, sixth turn? Uh, I'm sorry, this is not going as quickly as I hoped. Um, but you'll see here in a moment. No, oh, that's unfortunate. So, with that card down, I'm going to have to waste a card. But I've got this guy here, so... Um, let's just go. Yeah, so I got to wait another turn because of the uh, support to click down. It's going to destroy the first spell I cast. just allowed the loot prevention to uh, stop the stop the match. And that's really what I wanted to show you oh, and I'll get a chance. So that should have triggered. Okay, here we go. So again, only one spell to build. Uh, so we'll cheat a little bit. Give ourselves a bonus. Still no real cascades. It's going to stop at the end of this, which I guess is fine. You get the idea. I mean, a 92-92 isn't bad, although this is, what, about the 10th turn? And I really, I had said this would trigger by 3, and clearly it didn't. Uh, nonetheless, there it is, victory. Um, what's some ridiculous, what was it, a 92-92 by the end there? And there you go. Uh, my ridiculous deck. I think it's pretty fun. 
I know there are some variations with some uh, less expensive cards. Uh, Thunderherd Migration and some other green cards that allow you to change uh, five or six gems at a time as opposed to 12 and 20 at a time. Um, also you can build a similar deck with uh, uh, Kiora. Where is she? There's Kiora. So you can build a similar deck with her um, because of her colors, uh, blue and green. And then using her second ability, um, you can draw your creatures and so you can get Rashma and Ogmap out relatively quickly. And with her first ability, then you're just allowing yourself to trigger uh, less expensive cards, like, or I should say more expensive cards that don't trigger as much, like Thunderherd Migration. Which I believe is a common. Let's see if we can find it real quick just to show you. It's back here in the tens. There it is. Yeah, it's a common. Uh, ten mana, and you change ten green. So it's not as powerful, but it can still work. And then you can go through the, your own library and find. And it's going to trigger your green, your green bonuses. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you like this.